Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software It's Your Friend tutorial. Today I will show you how to upload photos from your camera to your new Windows 8 PC. In the past there were several programs that you could use to upload pictures, one of which is Windows Live uh, Photo Gallery, which still exists if you install it. But the default will be the new pictures app in Windows 8. So what I'm going to do is, I've got my camera hooked up, all i got to do is turn it on and it in Windows 8 will detect it and from there you will see what you need to do. So press the on button on your camera or however it is that you activate it when you're connected to a PC. And as you can see, uh, you get a notification that says that it's detected your camera and tap to choose what happens with this device. Once you tap it, you'll be given uh, a couple of options. You can import the photos, open the device in, in File Explorer, or take no action. Okay? If you choose File, uh, if you choose this, uh, the File Explorer option, you will see the drive and you'll be able to treat it like any flash drive. However, we want to import the photos and videos. So we click on that, and from here, it's going to let us choose which files we want to import, and it separates the files based on, date, on the date that they were taken, and in groups, they group it. And of course, very simply, if you just click on these pictures, they will become active or not. So having said that, uh, the fastest way that you can clear the selection and only choose a few is to clear selection and choose your few. Or select all. The option is right on top and it gives you the option for the name of your folder. This folder is going to be put in your uh, pictures folder in your pictures library. Now let's just see if there are any settings. As you can see these pictures can then be uh, tossed up to Facebook, Flickr, or whatnot. And so basically what we're going to do right now is we're just going to import. Uh, let's just be uh, simple here. So we click import and it's going to import all of these photos that I've been taking. Basically pictures of uh, landscapes and balloons. And it's done. So they were put into the pictures library in the folder uh, 2012 uh, 08 19 which is today's date August 19th. Uh, no, it's the day that they were taken, sorry. Um, so basically you open folder and as you can see it gives you a nice view of all of the pictures that you just took. You can use your scroll wheel to go across and whatnot. So as you can see, you can see some of the balloons here, hot air balloons, if you have that where you are. And uh, yeah, so here are the pictures and from here there isn't really much left to do except observe them and admire them. Of course, you can um, right click in the pictures app and import, which is going to bring you to choose a device and of course, once you click on the cannon. Once again, you'll be taken to this import screen. Cancel. So that's pretty much it when it comes to importing photos. Of course, if you go home, you'll see all of the pictures in your libraries and on Facebook and from your devices. If you go to the devices, of course, um, that's where it will show your other uh, computers and your Xbox or whatnot. So if you set up a home group, um, that's basically where it will be. And essentially, in order for this to work, you would need to install SkyDrive on both computers. 
and of course back to the pictures app uh, home and uh, of course the import directly from the pictures app without getting any kind of dialogue you just right click and import and choose your device so without further ado that's pretty much it of course you can go and look at your pictures library which will show you the one picture that I uploaded on here and the new folder that I just imported and that's pretty much it all right so until the next video this has been another computer software is your friend tutorial of course I if you like the stuff if you like the the tutorials the videos the content if you like this stuff subscribe the button is above social media links are in the description below and uh, well, what do you think of this new experience for importing? Do you like it? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time.